I just know a good product when I see it. All right, welcome back to the channel. Final piece to these heads and the valve train setup that's gonna complete everything and make everything run happy. Uh, called up our buddies, Tick Performance. They have the best spring package right now on the market for LT1s. It's a no-brainer setup. They have two different versions. They have a single spring that has up to 600 lift. I think that uses a beehive setup on there. Then they also have this. I think you should just skip over everything, just go right to this version of the springs. It's a dual valve spring. I'll put in all the specs, link to their website, all that kind of good stuff. But I also wanted to compare other spring options that you have for these LT1s that have been in the past. So let's just open up the box and see what we, can, what we get. Titanium retainers. Unheard of, super light. I already have it out of the boxes. I already looked at it and played with it, so whatever. You got Keepers, Chromoly machined. They are, it's very important. It's a plus 0.50, 11 30 seconds Keeper. New seals for your valve stems. Cups, or whatever you call these things for the bottom of the spring. I'll get into that in a few minutes. Extremely well packaged, extremely professional. I mean, can't ask for anything better than this. And then of course, the dual valve spring. It's a, I'll put again, all the specs in there. I'll let the website speak for itself of this, but I also want to show you firsthand the, the setup, how they achieve the 650 lift on a stock head and some of your other options stock valve, um, that, that you can you can have if you don't have a lot of money i mean this is over 300 dollars, but it seems like a lot of money but for what you're getting is unheard of and for the reliability it's just a peace of mind this is where you should spend money on parts and not go cheap so enough said anybody will tell you that okay so let's just get into the basics of of this LT1 heads and why are they so so much of a pain in the butt to set up for high lift? First of all, you don't have a lot of room between the seal and where the rocker arm is and how it pushes in because it crashes into the seal on there. So these are some of your options that you have. Um, here is a stock valve spring keeper and I'll get a nice tight shot of everything, but I'm just gonna go over them in sequential orders. You have the beehive set up, of course, from Tick, but this is not here because we went straight to the valve, um, for the, uh, the double valve spring. Now this is an old favorite and classic. These are the Howard Cams 98215 spring. They come with a damper, a dampener in here, which you remove and it fits over the stock setup. You can use your stock retainer and your stock keepers. These set up at a, a little bit higher height, so they give you a good spring pressure, but this is really for a moderate cam, something like a hot cam, a little bit maybe better than a hot cam setup on it, but not a super high RPM uh, setup on here. And then you set up, step up to these guys, titanium retainers and keepers comes within the package. Now I wanna show you the difference of how they get away with using 650 lift on these springs and why it's always been so hard for LT1 guys to make it happen. But the main thing is, oops, is the retainer and the way it's set up on here. Forever, you, can't, you can never piece together parts with a spring and a proper retainer. You always had to measure stuff out and figure it out. And then a lot of times the spring manufacturer will give you a number. And when you do the actual math and lift the, the retainer crashes into um, this area over here. So Tick Performance has really, and I'm, I'm butchering this up, I'm sorry, but 
tick, tick performance has really taken the guesswork out of this. You still should check your height, especially if the head has been worked on or if it's been machined or anything like that. But for a stock head, you're pretty much in the ballpark of where this is gonna be. But I wanted to show you how they achieved that and what things to look out for. And the reason why that you can have to upgrade your rocker arms also. Okay, I want to explain something here about these springs that you're going to have to consider, is that you're going to have to upgrade the rocker arms, and I'm going to show you why. Here are two examples of, I didn't really explain this too well. These are the valve springs sitting on the valves, and I wanted to bring you in closer to show you the differences. See the height of the valve stem? So when you try to use a self-aligning rocker arm, it's just too damn close to the retainer and it's gonna smack this loose and damage the retainer. And anyway, even for high RPM use, these self-aligning rocker arms kinda like just are not, are not, not an ideal, but you can see how close it is and it's literally it's technically not touching the retainer but with parts expansions and flex and it's just not a good thing now you take a regular rocker arm you have zero problems with this let me compare it to the other one I'm talking about this is the Howard this is the Howard Cam's spring with the stock retainers on here. And you see there's plenty of room. No problems there. So this is how they achieve or help get to the 650 lift range is by moving the retainer upwards on the valve stem and using the proper locks and keepers and then machining their own oops, retainers specifically for this setup to make it work. So there's no guesswork in there. This is why they don't recommend a self-aligning rocker romp because there's not enough room in here. Uh, they claim that there's one manufacturer that you can use, but why risk that? Just get a proper rocker romp. You never have to worry about it. This is sort of like the, the Harbor Freight thing. Good, better, and best. Well, this is okay. This is the stock spring. This is the Howard Cam spring. Look at the difference of the height, and it allows you to have more lift. Oops, excuse me. Because you have the gap in here, and when you compress it to the, the installed height of the stock LT1, it everything works correctly. And then the best, hopefully that's coming out. Double valve spring, good materials. This will last a while in a moderately street with a hot, you know, with a decent cam in it. This, you know, this is great. So yeah, a quick review, awesome product, awesome team. They know what they're doing and there's just, there's no words for it. It's just, they're, they're keeping the LT1 junk alive and making dummies like me making my life so much easier than having to piece together parts like I used to have to do in the past. Now it's their own lightweight titanium retainer and the valve spring for 300 and something dollars, which is a steal, which is a bargain. This is the, oh, I'm sorry. And the proper keepers for the retainers. But yeah, that's enough said. I would contact them right away if you're doing a camp swap. Don't even look at anything else. Don't even bother going to comp cam. All that kind of stuff go right to tick performance. They, you know, this guy's been racing LT1s. He knows LT1s. They can answer any of your questions. I am not sponsored, so don't think I'm trying to sell their stuff or anything like that. I just know a good product when I see it. Yeah, so quick review. We'll get more into details once we clean the heads up and assemble everything and get everything back together. But throw, I thought I would just throw out this video and show you guys what you're getting for your money. Take care.